Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I am bringing you the accessories for the Galaxy Tab S3, the book cover, and the book cover keyboard. Now, both of these are for two different styles. This would be the main one if you just want to take it on the go and have a thin, light device. This one is going to be a bit heavier, but way more productive. This one is going to have a full keyboard. It connects uh, both of them, actually, I believe. We'll find out. Uh, connect uh, via these pogo pins, as well as the two, um, as well as the two uh, clamps right here. So that's how they're going to connect onto this, um, and we will see exactly how it looks. So let's go ahead and check it out. First, let's start off with the regular book cover. There. There. And the interesting thing is, is you always know or remember how to use it because it shows you right here the two different styles that you can use. So let's see how it does. And yep, it just magnetically connects. I wonder how secure that is. So, I wouldn't grab it by this part. Uh, it looks like it will fall off if you grab it by that part. But as soon as it does snap in there, it does uh, hold on pretty well. But again, you can uh, do that. I thought it had a little bit more security. But, I mean, it keeps it very thin. I mean, definitely keeps it very thin. But, yeah, not the most... Um, best way to keep it on there with uh, magnetics when it's more glass than metal. Uh, but let's see how it stands up when you do that. So we have you have these ridges here to stand up on it. And that is going to be, oh wait, you put it before the ridge. There you go. So that's going to be the first way it stands about that style. And then you have this way where the groove goes in it and you have that way for more of a landscape style so yeah pretty good overall again make sure <laughs> I just cannot stress this enough so the big part of this holding it is this uh, part right here and as you see it just kind of snaps into place as soon as you put it there but best to make sure that you're very careful with that overall and there is no place for the pen for this one, which I thought there was. I'm a little disappointed in that. So there's no place for the pen uh, for this case, which I think is a big miss on Samsung's part. Uh, you don't have anywhere to put the S Pen. So, oh, I guess it actually sticks magnetically to these. Okay, then you're fine. It, it can still be hit off. The magnet is on the metals on this portion right here, so you actually do have a way to put it on there apparently you just have to be careful because uh, if it hits anything like that but you can carry it around like this and you're fine uh, but if it just hits something oh that's kind of fun alright so you have that now let's get to the other one which is the book cover with keyboard and this does come with a little part to attach it looks like I'm guessing here I, yes, it looks like it'll be here uh, for the keyboard. Now, the the one gripe I have, and uh, I've talked about this, is I wish the colors would match more. So for this one, it's black on the inside, but silver to match the silver version, which is the one I got. But then the silver version is black on the front, and I've got silver on the back. I just wish it would be more consistency across the board in colors. By the way, this is the only book cover color that I saw. Uh, I did not see a silver one, at least at the time of launch. That could change later. But again, I just I, I, I would have gotten all silver, including with a silver keyboard as well. So let me see how this thing attaches. And this should actually hold the S Pen. And it's actually just sticky, just so you know. So I don't think it's magnetic, which I thought it might be, but let's see. So put that 
right here into the little groove for it. And now you have a place to hold your S Pen. And again, it's a little groove, you saw that in the beginning where it goes, uh, that's kind of mapped out for it, so you have it there. And then we can put our S Pen in there. No problem, and that way you have it with you. Now these should connect through these pogo pins at the bottom right here. And again, not the strongest magnets. I'm trying to see if you can lift it up by it. And it sticks, actually on this one much better. So it does have the ability to hold it, which is nice. And then, so I've heard the main complaint about this one is that you only really have one viewing angle. And yeah, you can't, I'm like trying to see if I can finagle to get another one. Uh, you really only do have one viewing angle. So it that is a poor design choice, definitely. But so this is the only viewing angle you have, which is more of an upright style, as opposed to being able to kind of tilt it back an angle, which I definitely do like to do, especially if I'm in a meeting. And if I'm, if I'm in, even sitting in a chair, like the one I'm sitting in right now, this is not comfortable for me. The desk is too low. So if I was at a higher desk, like my work desk, that would be fine. But at a desk like this, I feel like it would not be a good design. The thing I like about it is, since it does connect through the pogo pins, I don't need to set anything up right now. It's all connected uh, already, so there's no Bluetooth. Don't need to worry about charging the case, so I do like that. Um, overall, uh, I think they're good um, for the price. Uh, I will have to test this keyboard out and see Um, let's see, just doing a few sentences here. Oh, I can't do control A here. Overall, I think it's a good keyboard. Would I say it's one of the better ones? I think I like the surface one a little bit more, although this has more depth to it. So the click, uh, it does have a bit more of a click to it comparing uh, to like a surface keyboard, uh, but it's a little bit more pushed in than a surface keyboard, which makes sense. It's, it's a smaller tablet, so that is why. But overall, I think it's gonna be a much better typing experience on here than a traditional tablet, of course. And I would say it's pretty much better than most third-party uh, Bluetooth keyboards that I have tested out over the years. Um, it definitely feels nicer, feels more premium. So yeah, overall, this is uh, going to be, again though, a bit thicker if you compare it to this version, which was obviously going to be much thinner. So if you uh, are okay with a bit thicker protection, uh, which of course, you know, uh, is nice because it protects your screen better because this is where the keyboard is so it protects your screen better you have a space for the s pen at all times and that isn't going anywhere on this uh so good for that part but i really wish i would have got another angle uh with this um because that is probably my biggest gripe is that you should have another viewing angle i don't have a problem with it as much as the typing as i've heard uh, around uh overall i think it's a good I think it's a good actual feel to it. Feels it, the keyboard itself feels really good, so I will say that. Now I'll leave the price points in the description down below, but these are the two different kind of cases you can get for your Tab S3. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you were to buy a Tab S3, which keyboard are you now thinking about getting? This one's obviously more expensive. I want to say, I do not remember the pricing by heart. I want to say this was around the $60, $70 price range, and this was around the $150 price range, or $130 maybe. Uh, but those are the price ranges you're looking at and the difference between these. So talking about a $50 difference um, to a bit more uh, comparing these two, overall, I wish this would have a bit more, uh, I wish this would have had the pogo pins or something else like a design like that where this would feel more secure because I feel like 
I don't know. I love the thinness of it. I love the thinness of it, but I do not like just that it doesn't feel like it's going to, it could fall out. And that obviously worries me if I'm getting a case for a glass tablet. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which one would you rather buy? Again, I will leave the links in the description down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.